A few days ago, AMD has revealed the new Ryzen 7000 series desktop CPU lineup, which brings a significant performance increase in both gaming as well as professional apps. If you are a gamer, then I have good news for you. During the Ryzen 7000 presentation on August 29th, AMD did not tell us about their other upcoming CPU lineup, which aims to deliver an even better gaming performance by introducing the 3D vCache technology into some Ryzen 7000 series processes. But no worries, I have the information about these upcoming beastly gaming CPUs and I will share it all with you in this video including performance, release date, and price. But first, an ad from a sponsor, which helps me keep producing this content for you to enjoy. Buy your Windows 10 or 11 key for less from cdkeyoffer.com at the link in the description below. Use code IV20 to get a 25% discount that brings the price down to as low as $16. You can securely check out with PayPal and receive your Windows key in minutes, ready to be activated on your PC. Now back to the video. Let's start with what is the 3D vCache technology and why it is so important for gaming performance. To put it simply, games love cache. The more, the better. In most cases, more cache on the CPU translates into higher FPS. Ryzen 7 5800X 3D was the first CPU with 3D vCache, and it brought an average of 15% performance uplift compared to Ryzen 7 5800X. That is a whole generation's worth of improvement. Under the hood, 5800X 3D has the same Zen 3 CPU cores as 5800X, but AMD figured out a way to stack more cache on top of the existing 5800X silicon, hence the name, 3D vCache. Now this technology can be used to upgrade any existing as well as future AMD CPUs. And low-key, the company has confirmed that Ryzen 7000 series processors with the next generation of 3D vCache are definitely coming. You can see it on their roadmap right there. The company just did not say when these products will become available. But thanks to the information leaks, we know that AMD plans to reveal Ryzen 7 7800X 3D and Ryzen 9 7950X 3D CPUs at CES 2023, which will run from 5th to 8th of January 2023. These next next-gen CPUs are expected to hit the store shelves sometime in Q1 2023. Now let's talk about the performance. AMD has already revealed the official FPS benchmark numbers which we can use. Of course it is not as good as the independent benchmarks, but we don't have any of those available just yet. So this will have to do for now. AMD claims that Ryzen 9 7950X is 15% better than its predecessor 5950X at gaming. In the meantime, the latest leak about Ryzen 9 7950X 3D suggests that it may be as much as 30% better than 7950X. In the case of this leak, it is important to note that both CPUs were tested inside the AMD labs and that they are early pre-production samples, meaning that the final product may perform differently. But I think it is safe to say that the new generation of 3D vCache processors will bring at least 15% improvement, the same as the previous generation did with Ryzen 7 5800X 3D. Even if we take the lower performance estimation, things look very bad for Intel. Just to put things into perspective, 7950X 3D with a 15% increase would be 28% better than Intel's i9-12900K. Keep in mind that this is the lower end of the estimates. Just imagine if the final results will actually end up being closer to 30%. Oof. I don't think Intel will be able to counter this level of performance in games at least until the 14th generation, which is still a long way from launching. The company is just getting ready to reveal the 13th generation processors later this month. So if I had to make an educated guess, I would say that once AMD launches the 7800X 3D and 7950X 3D CPUs, they will be untouchable for many months when it comes to pure maximum gaming performance. 
As for the price, I estimate that AMD will do a $449 MSRP for Ryzen 7 7800X 3D and a $799 MSRP for Ryzen 9 7950X 3D. These prices make sense to me looking at the current price list of the already announced Ryzen 7000 series products. By the way, I do not want to see Intel fall far behind AMD, because less competition always reflects poorly on either the product prices or pace of innovation. I want the prices to be as low as possible. Even now I think that $299 for a Ryzen 5 7600X is a big ask. I would like to see it at $269 or lower. My prediction is that AMD will actually have to lower that price in a few months, because it will be difficult to compete versus i5 13600K, which I expect will have a much better multi-core performance, purely due to the fact that Intel increased the number of cores to 14 cores and 20 threads on this thing. 13600K will be an absolute powerhouse when it comes to the performance in professional apps that are optimized to take advantage of multi-core systems. That is what I think, but what about you? If you enjoyed this video, then you know what to do with the like button. It was I, Vadim, until next time.